Hello from Austell, Georgia. Today we're at Six Flags over Georgia and this is going to be my first time ever at a Six Flags park, which is surprising because I'm a roller coaster enthusiast and I love theme parks. I've been to many theme parks across the country, but I've never been to a Six Flags park. Well, technically Cedar Point is now a Six Flags park, but you know what I mean. People often give Six Flags flack for being littered with advertisements, for the parks being dirty, having very little theming, but first impressions, front entrance looks great. You know, I've only been here like five minutes, but I'll be honest, this doesn't really look that different from like a Cedar Fair Park. Like it really looks clean, themed well, and look at this, look at Twisted Cyclone. This is going to be my first time on this awesome looking RMC. Let's hop on it. I rode Air Force One yesterday. Let's see if this is any better. All right, great impressions already. Twisted Cyclone was not only a walk-on, but it's actually open about 10 minutes before the park officially was supposed to open. So, sweet. Cyclone was awesome. I I mean, I wouldn't say it's better than Airy Force One, Steel Vengeance, or I mean, even Twisted Timbers. It was short, but what it has is a lot of really well put together elements. If it was a little longer, I know that's why everyone says it, if it was a little longer, this would be a top tier RMC, but it's just it's a little short, but either way, really fun. They have these campfires put all around the park and it's giving for a really nice smell. But you gotta pay for the marshmallows. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I don't know if it's just the time of day, but there isn't anyone here. I mean, I'm not complaining, but we're gonna hop on the Delgota Mine Train with no wait. All right, here it is. I love these old era mine trains. There's, there's so much fun. Well, the Delonega Mine Train was a pretty fun little aero mine train. Had a couple good pops of airtime, three lift hills, oddly enough, and the ending finale um, goes underground. And it was a pretty fun little final drop. So yeah, would totally go on this if you come here. There's Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Looks like a little fun spot for the kiddos. Um, I think I'll pass this time. Uh, one thing that I'm actually more bummed about than I should be is Superman, Blue Hawk, and Joker are all closed for this season. I was actually really looking forward to getting on Blue Hawk because it's like an old Vacoma with new trains. I don't know, it looked cool, but we can't do that today. You see, the, oh, Joker is open. Oh, well, well Joker is open. The Joker Fun House. Oh, I'm I'm ready to have some fun. Uh, why did I have such high expectations for that? I don't know. I thought it would pack a little bit more of a punch. I thought it was gonna be more like a family coaster, but uh, yeah, that was that was a kiddie coaster. It was really short and, and kind of boring. What the heck? That's some like nightmare fuel. It's kind of funny, they got these VIP igloos for those chilly Georgian nights. It's 75 degrees outside. Here it is, my most anticipated coaster at this park, the B&M Hyper Goliath. I heard from a guy yesterday that I was riding Air Force One with that this is his number one B&M. And he has been on Fury and a majority of the major ones, Mako, you know, the good B&M Hypers here in the US. So, I mean, I'm gonna take his word for it. Is this going to be the, my new number one B&M? I mean, I think Orion will always be my number one B&M. Overused Six Flags, name aside, that's a pretty good looking station, not going to lie. Look at that, they got same sign they use on all the other Goliaths and you know. Well, Goliath was great. I don't know if it's like number one B&M ever of all time in the country, but like it was a really good b and Hyper Coaster. I mean, I, I still prefer Mako and Diamondback, but I, I mean, I like Flojector. I like those graceful, fun coasters. It does end off with a bang. I mean, it has like five back-to-back -back airtime hills that just slam you up and out of your seat. But um, I don't know, had kind of a B&M rattle. 
wasn't like my favorite. I'm saying that as I'm getting back in line for it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, after getting another ride on Goliath, definitely, definitely a front row ride. In the back, you get kind of a B&M rattle, but in the front, you feel the wind in your face a lot more. It's a lot smoother. And I don't really feel like the airtime was like any lesser, so definitely front row. All right, next up, the Gerslauer Eurofire Daredevil Dive. This actually looks pretty decent. Got to be on vertical drop, a couple inversions. I mean, yeah. I guess a Daredevil dive was a pretty fun Gerslauer Eurofighter. I mean, it was, the best part is probably the vertical lift, and you get some pretty good positives like right over here. But um, yeah, it, it kind of just meanders. One interesting note about this park is it's actually like really hilly. Like oddly, a very very hilly park. Well, there is Six Flags over Georgia's newest coaster, Kids Flash Cosmic Coaster. I will say the cattle pen is kind of cool and. It's not a bad looking ride. It looks like, it looks it looks kind of cool. You know, the inner intertwining track, but uh, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna go hop on the Riddler Mindbender. This is an old Schwarzkopf. I believe it opened in the 70s, I think late 70s. So this is a pretty old roller coaster, but as you can tell, it's recently been repainted bright green, which I don't think looks too bad. Pretty, look, pretty excited for this. Looks pretty fun. Well, Riddler's Mindbender was a pretty fun coaster. It was smooth, the vertical loops were pretty forceful, but it didn't really do anything else other than the vertical loops. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, but for such an old coaster, this has aged very well. I would definitely ride this again. All right, I'm gonna hop on Batman next. This is their B&M Inver, and I'm looking forward to it. I actually haven't been on one of these clones before, and they look really solid, so. Uh, okay, I see why they cloned that. Um, that thing is that thing is crazy intense. It feels like it's trying to rip you into pieces the whole time. That was, oh my gosh. It's interesting, out of all of the inverts I've ridden, that was by far the most intense. Well, you know what? Alpengeist is probably the most intense, but for this literally being half the height of Alpengeist, oh wow, that packs a punch. All right, next coaster, which is actually the final coaster, the Georgia Scorcher. This is going to be my first time on a B&M stand-up somehow, which I'm actually looking forward to a lot more than I should be for a B&M stand-up. I mean, come on. So you guys are probably going to think I'm either lying or just saying this to be uwu, quirky and different. But um, no, that was literally the best coaster at this park. Like, no joke, this old B&M stand-up was my favorite right here. Not this B&M hyper that some dude told me was going to be the best B&M I've ever ridden. Not some five, six-year-old RMC. It was very literally a B&M stand-up. That was so good. It was so good. It was forceful throughout the entire thing. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was way smoother than Goliath. Goliath had a rattle. This was smooth through the whole thing. Never banged my head. It was perfectly comfortable. Really, really great coaster. Well, that's it. I've been here two hours now and I have ridden every major coaster. Of course, two or three of the major ones are closed, but like for two hours, that was pretty good. I didn't wait for any coaster. It was, they were all walk-on, so. I'm gonna be honest, don't really get all of the hate about Six Flags. Like, I, I it, okay, they're only running one train on most of the coasters, but um, there's also no one here, so it doesn't matter. Um, haven't waited for anything, really just had a really great day. Got on all the major coasters in two hours and 
didn't really dislike any of them. Well, there is Superman, and over there is the Great American Scream Machine and Blue Hawk. I'm definitely, definitely disappointed I'm not able to get on those. I mean, maybe not so much Great American Scream Machine, but certainly the other two. There were coasters that I've never been on. I mean, well, I'm talking about this one. I haven't been on any of those clones, and I haven't been on a Vacoma looping coaster that's not like, you know, rock and roller coaster. So, kind of disappointed. So Twisted Cyclone was closed for a little bit, but I would just wait it outside because I had nothing else to do and it reopened. So we're going to hop on this. Gonna do it here from Six Flags over Georgia. I had a great first Six Flags experience. Got to ride all the major coasters like two or three times and had a really great time. Thanks for watching, guys.